see how should I represent myself. Uh, either in academic way or uh, political way or whatever. Um, very briefly, uh, in factographical sense, you know, uh, I'm Obrad Savic, I'm a um, philosopher, I lived in Belgrade, uh, I uh, teach more than uh, 30 years uh, history of social and political philosophy on Belgrade University. I was expelled uh, in the main uh, 2000 because I was the president of the most famous uh, Serbian NGO, uh, Belgrade Circle and I was too much involved in politics and uh, activities, so in some sense I'm not victims, I deserve to be expelled. I was expelled and then I started to live in New York, I was uh, lecturing in the uh, New School for Social Research a couple of years, and then back to Europe and start to work 10 years in uh, Leeds University in the UK. My dominant field of interest was during period of Yugoslavia, uh, Tito Yugoslavia, where I lived and work in you know, a state university, Belgrade State University, was philosophy of psychoanalysis. But when I started the war, uh, I, move, I switch uh, uh, and move to the uh, topics war, violence, and, and political philosophy. So my first book during the war was European Discourse of War, where I tried to, to you know, to, to uh, reconstruct or deconstruct the mainstream uh, discourse of war in uh, Europe in this period, you know. Then I published uh, uh, other couple books, uh, for example, uh, The Rule of uh, Memory, Transitional Justice, uh, and, and many other books. I also working, uh, and I'm very proud of it, very much on, 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 a, on a translation and publishing more than uh, 200 books uh, uh, with the idea to educate uh, young kids who lived up in the Auschwitz period, a lot of, uh, you know, military discourse, a lot of uh, um, um, populistic uh, culture. And I, I tried to save them through literature uh, about social and political and moral philosophy, which I translate more than 200 books and publish in, in you know, in Inside Belgrade Circle and later other organization. Um, um, and then uh, I invited uh, to Belgrade uh, to support us, uh, to, to cover us from our government, who was very aggressive against the NGO scene in Belgrade, and civil society in general. State was very aggressive against, general against civil society in Belgrade. They come to support us, cover us, protect us. It's incredible name from, you know, Jacques Derrida, Richard Dorty, Donald Davidson. It's the biggest stuff, the biggest name in American, French and German. Uh, philosophy. So I, when I was expelled, I, I left Yugoslavia, Serbia, Yugoslavia, and I started to to live in um, in um, in um, uh, first America, then uh, in the UK, and uh, then one period um, uh, my faculty, Leeds University, and then Cardiff University together open American University in, in Pristina with the Norwegian money. So I moved there and worked five years in Pristina. So I back to the region, and it was a very painful experience uh, regarding everything, uh, economical catastrophe, you know, the collapse of civilization, and it's everything. It was a very painful period in my life, and on the end, on 2010, finally I returned to my uh, to my native city, Belgrade, when I start to live my new life in Belgrade. I work in the private uh, university Singedunum. I'm a member of the staff of faculty for media communication. I'm director of institute for uh, European studies. I am working on on on, on issue on on on, the, on the philosophical expropriation of the concept of Europe. Then I'm working on courses on on a memory discourse, construction of national memory, and critique national memory, and this is. Roughly uh, my my life, 
I travel very much around. I know million people all around the most academic community. I'm in very good contact. Uh, I'm still optimistic that uh, I can do every a lot of things for uh, young kids in my students in Belgrade, in Pristina, in Leeds, and every very including in summer school in uh, in Balkan Institute organized in um, in uh, Sarajevo. <laughs> I uh, know. Let's say in, in, uh, I would really try to answer in uh, in the manner of journalistic discourse, not in the academic theoretical. Is what we need much more sensibility toward the others, we European Christian, much more openly to, uh, to toward uh, our dominant others, which are always was uh, uh, Jew and Arab Muslim, much more. Uh, uh, solidarity among us, much more friendship, political friendship, not personal friendship, but also political friendship among us, much more solidarity beyond national border, solidarity toward the other, not solidarity with my nation, um, much more tolerance, in any sense of the words, in theoretical sense, political sense, religion sense, psychological sense, in any sense, we need real. Then we need a plurality culture to create in, in Europe, in Western civilization, all around the world. Why not? What does it mean, uh, plurality culture? Let, let, let me to uh, uh, reflect the plurality cu culture concept on, on, on the standard definition of democracy. So first. Standard definition and democracy. Democracy is the voice of majority. This is Greek version. Later, we have conversion of the, uh, of the definition. And today, democracy is the right of minority, not the power of majority of voice, but the, uh, power, uh, the, the rights of minority. And third version, which is uh, according to pluralistic culture, multi-ethnical, multinational, multicultural culture, is uh, democracy is neither power or majority nor rights of minority, but democracy is production of the other. This is precisely what we need. To product ourselves, our kids, our new generation, our, our culture, uh, according to eyes of the other. As other, not to be, you know, in iconic sense, just copyright on myself. For example, my son, you know, recycling my life. No. I try to create him to be different than me. So democracy is production of differences, not production of the same. This is precisely what we need for the peace culture of the future. Look, I'm extremely satisfied with, with, with the whole frame of the Balkan Institute program in Sarajevo. First, I am very respect and admire to them because they succeeded to uh, organize the summer school in the heart of the event. So, the, uh, so I think that the, that the concept of space is extremely important for discursive formation, which we can or not can uh, articulate during the summer school. So if we speak about a uh, big war, First World War, and consequences, causes, and so on, but not in Belgrade or in Paris, but in a real place where, where, where it was happened, it means in Sarajevo, for me it was a miracle decision. So place deeply infected our thinking, our discourse on war. Place where it was happened exactly here. So I, 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 this decision is really incredible. And the whole program is in fact uh, going in, the, in different directions different level, uh, uh, military discourse, peace discourse, uh, political discourse, uh, moral discourse, religion discourse, ethical discourse. So all of these discourse information uh, allowed us to start to think uh, First World War uh, uh, um, uh, as a lesson for, not for the Second World War or for the third, the uh, coming future, new global war, whatever, but also for the lessons for uh, peaceful life for the democratical uh, uh, concept of uh, political framing of our life. So I, I think that the, this summer school, uh, even I dream about this, 
that can uh, uh, became a tradition and uh, to uh, I deeply believe that we will have a chance to organize even a, a, a bigger staff and uh, much more students from all around the, 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 the world sharing to go, together many uh, different things. Theoretical, practical, political, moral, ethical, religion, everything.